What makes your content indispensable? The things you write, the things you record. Why should your audience pay attention, give you their valuable attention? So let me give you a couple of ways to think about this. And I hope that as you answer these questions, it'll help you focus better and create better content to serve your audience. So number one, is your content the best the best what? Is it the, the best research? Is it the best how-to content? Is it uh, the most entertaining among your peers? Is it, is it funny? Um, is it the best art? Uh, do you bring the most passion? Or maybe is it, it's, is it best for a particular type of person, whereas your peers are serving other types of people? Okay, so answer that question. What, is the, what, what makes it the best? It doesn't have to be the best video in the world or the best book in the world but it's the best what answer that question okay and so that you can focus your content creation efforts going forward um, my example is that i aim for my content to be the best in terms of the combination of being excellent business and marketing advice infused with a true caring for my audience uh, and where the content is from an ethical and spiritual worldview. So I could say that my content, I aim for it to be the best authentic business and marketing training available online, the best spiritual and authentic uh, business and marketing training available online. Um, now that's what I aim for, but once I got clear about that, then I say, oh, I don't have to be the best business and marketing training online. That would be, I would be setting myself against competing with you know, hundreds or thousands of other, you know, business and marketing teachers, but I can be the best in terms of bringing an authentic and spiritual uh, worldview to it with a, with a caring style, right? So, um, so what about you? What, what makes yours the best, the best what, okay? Um, the second great question is, who is not getting the information that they need to make the improvements they want in their life, their work, their relationship, etc. Okay, who is not getting the information they need that you can therefore provide? So when I answer that question for myself, I say, oh, coaches and counselors, spiritually based businesses are not getting the business and marketing information that they need and want from a more spiritual perspective. So, ah, that's the gap that I can fill. So what about the gap that you can fill? What information is not being provided that you don't see enough out there? Maybe it's being provided by very, very few people, but it's not, it's not out there enough that you believe you can, you can bring your own voice to that, okay? Um, third question is, why would your audience long for your content? Why would your audience long for your content? How would you answer that? When I answered the question for myself, I said my audience longs for this because they cannot find this type of spirit-led business tr and marketing training elsewhere. And so, you know, they, I mean, I, I long for it myself. I'm kind of creating it for myself as well, right? So why would your audience long for your content? And so if you answer these three questions, it will help you focus the energy, you focus your energies on creating content that is truly indispensable for your audience. And if you'd like, I invite you to comment underneath this video with your answers to these questions. I'd love to see it myself.